Hello everyone, this is Will Volk here with one of Goose Creek's most talented basketball players ever, Mariah Lenny. Mariah, thanks for interviewing with me today. No problem. So after all this hard work playing this game, you finally get to take your talents on to college next year. How does that feel? Um, it's exciting. I, I'm keeping up with them right now and I feel like I can help them out and do what I can do and not be under a coach telling me to do specific things that I'm not comfortable doing. And their style of play is fast and I like playing fast, so I'm excited. And you have many offers from many different schools. What was it about UNC Charlotte that made you choose them? Um, I got along with the coaches and the players really good. Um, it wasn't too far away from home. I'm a family person, so it was just, it was perfect. I think it was perfect. So you've been playing basketball for a long time. How did you get your start playing this game? Uh, well, I started when I was five years old. I started playing at Goose Creek Rec, but my dad, I grew up with my dad playing at CSU. So I was in the stroller watching him play, and they said, or my mom said I was mimicking him, like mocking him. So every time he shot, I shot too. So I grew up around it with my dad. Well, you've been in this basketball program for a long time, and as you get ready to enter your last season this week, what do you want your legacy here at Goose Creek to be? Um, I would like to join the 1,000-point club. I'm only 36 points away, so hopefully I can get that in the first couple games. Um, I would also like to try to make the McDonald's All-American team. I, that's always been a dream of mine since I was young. So. The girls team is obviously a preseason favorite to win the state championship, ranked first, of course, in the preseason poll. What's it going to take to win that state championship? You got to remain humble. You can't let that get to your head because, I mean, there's a lot of competition, good competition up there, especially in the upstate. So um, the season isn't, or the conference isn't too strong. So we got to play at our full ability every game and not play down to anybody's level because when we get to playoffs and we're not used to seeing that, it could, it could shock us. So you gotta remain humble and continue to work hard. Well, thank you very much, Mariah, for the interview and best of luck this season. You can catch the Lady Gators in action this Friday night in their home opener as they take on the Garrett Falcons right here at Goose Creek, seven o'clock, girls tip off. This has been Will Volk for Gator TV News.